to take a picture and make a water-like reflection effect. Um, you can see in the image that we're looking at now, I'm basically going to show you how to make this image because right now we're already looking at the effect. So let me quickly um, get rid of that and I will show you how to um, do this. So let me hide it and right here is our original picture. What we're going to do is we're going to simply make it look like this. Let me show you how to do that. First thing you do is I'm going to obviously create a new duplicate layer that we can work from for our because we never work from the background and I'm actually going to also create another layer. I'm going to duplicate two. Um, okay, so on my second image I am going to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Oops, not horizontal, flip vertical. I always do that. Transform, flip vertical. It's going to turn it upside down. Now that I've turned it upside down I'm simply going to erase some of it. So I'm going to choose where I want my water to start from and I'll, I can start from right here. I'm going to push delete, unselect it. Now I can simply just drag my image down. I can also use my arrow keys to just drag it down. And this right here, just like this, creates just creates a nice reflection effect to be honest with you. It almost looks like a water effect, but it's not really water. So we're, we have to do a few more things to make this really look good. And I will show you exactly what we need to do. All right, to make this look good, uh, the several things we need to do. First of all, I am going to create a new layer. And I am going... That was deselected for a second. I'm going to create a new layer. A back, oh, just a, but it layers above my original image that I'm using for the reflection. And in this layer, I'm going to essentially select my whole entire background, and I'm going to select a color. I'm going to select like a nice blue color, a color that I'd want my actual water to be at for a background. And I'm going to fill that in. And you can see over here that I filled it in. And you can see it's just a little off. So I'm going to actually move my image up slightly just to cover that up. Perfect. Now what I need to do is I am going to make sure that I'm selected on my reflection and I am going to give it a little bit of opacity. I'm going to drop it down a little bit so that to give my water almost a little effect of color. So you can see already just from that opacity that now my water looks a little more blue little tint to it to give it that water like reflection right now this is a crystal clear reflection so this is water with no ripples really impossible to make it like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually give the water a little bit of a ripple how do we do that we go to filter filter gallery and you can use ocean ripple or glass there's a couple others you can use and a couple things you can do like give it a wind effect and stuff we're just gonna give this a nice little ripple um, yeah, we'll use the ripple effect. And what we'll do is we'll just change it around a little bit. You can play with this as much as you want um, to try to make it the effect that you desire. I don't want this to be too bad. We're just going to give this a nice little ripple. I'm going to select OK. And there we give it a little ripple effect. But still, this isn't as realistic as it could be. So one the final step to this is to simply change the perspective. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, Perspective. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the perspective a little bit so that the bottom of this image, if I can get down there, which is not letting me, but that's okay. Essentially all I'm doing is I am changing the bottom of this image. I'm going to actually lift it up to do this because I can't select it from below. I'm just going to pull the bottom out a bit to give it a more realistic effect and just bring it back down. Just because you, the perspective of a person actually looking at it, it's going to be out like that. Everything's going to appear a little closer to them, um, the way things shoot out from one another. And that's a little more realistic. It's a little off-center from me moving it, but that's okay. And you apply, and there you go. That's how you create a nice little water reflection effect on an image. Thank you.